So what a way to start day three then with the Cheltenham Gold Cup. And it's a smaller field than usual this year. I've only gone down to one entry. Again, it was two before. I don't know why we've done that. So let's take a look at the field. The top one, for some reason, is Venture de Cognac. Martin Leedham, the put. Carl Arigante, Stroke, the gold. Leon van Rensburg, Standout King. Darren Howell, Sandocion, Moliet Surfer, Karate, Alex Cherry, It Marbo, Darren Thompson, Greensbank Park, Ghost Zappa, Fort Lauderdale, Paul Rhodes, Barra, Killer, Graham Clutterbuck, Peaches, David Robertson, Maximum Impact, Joshua Sutherland, and Bread and Butter, Derek Hinton. I think the card is upside down. Instead of going alphabetical order, it's gone backwards alphabetical order. I presume the mares are the two at the bottom. So, aerial sweep of the track. Get ready for the blue ribbon of a steeplechasing in the world, really. And away they go. And maximum impact and bread and butter. One of the first two to show could Derek Hinton the unlikely double of winning the Arc de Triomphe yesterday and the Cheltenham Gold Cup today. Well, they're all safely over the first and racing down towards the second. And um, Britain Butter, Fort Lauderdale, and Greensbank Park are one, two, three as they take the second. Oh, it's a follower. He's gone there. Fort Lauderdale's gone. Last year's champion has crashed out at the second fence. Absolute disaster for Paul Rose's team there with Fort Lauderdale. He must have been on an hour and about whether to bring it back. He must have thought he'd probably get two runners as well when he did bring it back. And it's out of the race. Crashed out at the second fence. And that is a major surprise as Fort Lauderdale last year's winner is out of the Gold Cup. And Greensbank Park has been left in the lead from Bread and Butter in second. The put is in third. Then Barra Killer as they take the fourth. A third, sorry. And over that one, a mistake at the back by Strike the Gold. Greensbank Park it is then, and they're already pretty well strung out these. It's definitely been a feature of the race in this week. But the horses have been getting well strung out in the races. They take the water and they race away down towards the next one. And Greensbank Park is the leader from Bread and Butter in second. Then the put, then Maximum Impact. They take that one. Greensbank Park lands nicely in front. Trying to give John Morgan his first gold cup, I think. With Bread and Butter second, Maximum Impact third. As they come down to the next. And good jump there by most of the field. And they are well strung out already then. With Greensbank Park in the lead. Bread and Butter second, the put third. Barra Killer on the outside fourth. Then Maximum Impact. Then comes it Marbo and Sandocion. Then Peaches and Venture to Cognac as they take the next. And you just have to venture to Cognac, stroke the gold and stand out king. Struggling just a little bit at the back as well. So strike the gold and stand out. King really finding the pace a bit hot when as they take the next one. I'm not sure how long Greensbank Park can keep this up. As they are going lickety split at the moment. And Greensbank Park leads the Gold Cup field downhill. To the put in second. Then Bread and Butter is third as they come down to this next one. This is fence number nine. And Greensbank Park landed in the lead. They all jumped in okay. Greensbank Park by four then. With the put just poking its head in a second. Barracular on his outside. Bread and Butter on his inside. Maximum Impact just tucked in behind. Then it Marwa and Venture to Cognac as they take the tenth. A mistake there by Peaches. I've seen that one just drop back a little bit. Karate's gone past him. Looks like we're going to play Jockey Cam for a while. With Karate right towards the back of the field. You can see in front Venture to Cognac. We are now on the back of. As they swing into the straight, they'll take these two fences in the straight and then they'll go round again. And oh, Lord of Hell, the only one that's departed the race so far. As they take that one. To the cognac jumped it well. On maximum impact now. That one's going well as well as they come down to this fence that'll be the last on the next circuit in the gold cup. And some impact was over it okay, they're all over it okay in fact, and we get back to a more standard view. And you can see they're virtually an Indian file in the Gold Cup going out on the second circuit. This is almost unprecedented. And Greensbank Park's in the lead and standout King is really struggling at the back. That one looks to have a live chance before the race. I don't know whether there's something wrong with that one. 
Company, a long way adrift and surely can't win. Greensbank Park then leads the Gold Cup field from the put in second. Bread and Butter is third. Barra Killer is fourth and Maximum Impact is five. Then a bit of a gap to Sandosian and it marbles it. Oh, he's gone! The leader's gone! Greensbank Park has crashed out of the race and that's two and a big fancy's gone. This Gold Cup is wide open. Greensbank Park out of the race as they race down towards the water jump and the put for Carl Arrogant has been left in the lead. Maximum Impact cruising up on the outside. I'm sure that one didn't expect to be coming through the lead just yet but it's Maximum Impact on the outside of the put then Barrakilla, Bread and Butter it, Marbo, San Dossione, and then Venture to Cognac as they take that one and a lot of the fancy runners are out now Strike the Gold is being pulled up so Strike the Gold being pulled up, Stand Out King tailed off and the Paul Rhodes and John Morgan horses have fallen, what a wide open Gold Cup we've got now then, the put's in the lead from Maximum Impact in second Barrakilla is third, it Marbo is fourth, then San Dossione, then Bread and Butter then Venture to Cognac, little gap back to Peaches and Karate they're the only ones left in it as they come to the 17th and over that one they go they all got over it okay it's the put in the lead for Carl Aragante maximum impact for Joshua Sutherland is second then Barrakill of a ground clutter book on it Marb over Darren Thompson these are the leading four at the 18th and over that one okay Sandosio now comes in a run round the outside trying to take the gold cup back to Germany then venture to Cognac then comes bread and butter Karate and Peaches but it's the put that's in the lead it's Norway in front from England in second with maximum impact then Barrakill for Wales and Sandosio for Germany as they come down to this next one over it they go the putts in the lead being pressed by maximum impact Barra is running well in third then it Marbo then Sandosio and Venture to Cognac running a big race Karate's trying to run on for Alex Cherry Scotland trying to get into it as well it's the put in the lead then from maximum impact and it Marbo at the third last the put lands in front it Marbo second maximum impact third then Sandosio Barra Killer and Venture to Cognac now Karate's trying to get into it Peaches is trying to run on bread and butter's gone it's the put in the lead from it Marbo, the put from it Marbo, then Sandosian on the outside of Maximum Impact. They begin to swing towards home, and the put is a length clear. The put's a length clear of it Marbo. Sandosian going well, Maximum Impact now coming back for another go. Then comes Barakilla. These five are starting to pull away from the remainder. It's the put, Maximum Impact though, sweeps on the outside, jumps a second, last lands in the lead. Gets away from it well. It's Maximum Impact now by a length. Barakilla's the only real danger. Maximum Impact comes down towards the final fence in the Gold Cup, skips over it, gets away from it. He's quickly on four clear. Maximum impact is four lengths clear. Maximum impact is five lengths clear and pulling away from Barakilla. This is maximum impact. Going to take the Gold Cup for Joshua Sutherland. He was complaining earlier in the week. He had a disappointing start to the festival, but he's ending it in the best way possible with a Gold Cup win. And maximum impact takes it. Jockey salutes the crowd. Barakilla second. It might both third. Sandals the own four and the book five. Then Peaches and Karate and Venture to Cognac. And Bread and Butter was the last one to finish. Matteo Impact takes the Gold Cup for Joshua Sutherland with Barrakilla second for Graham Clutterbuck. It Marbo for Darren Thompson third. Sandos the on four for Molly Etzer for that put for Carl Aragante was fifth. Oh, what a dramatic way to start the day. What a dramatic way to end the Gold Cup. Greensbank Park and Fort Lauderdale both crashing out fallers. Odds on favourite Greensbank Park. Fallers went in the lead. Fort Lauderdale went to the second and standout king was indeed injured.